<laughs> Mr. President, I think you should go, all right? Just... Damn, you don't, you ruin everything, man. <laughs> Say goodnight to the president, everybody. I'll see you in the goodnight, green room, you. Tracy. I'll see you in the green room. He yeah. does that. <laughs> Thanks, uh... <laughs> go away. I'm, uh, it's great having you on the program, and Thank I'm curious about much. something right away. Uh, your hair in this movie, you're a redhead, Yeah, right? flaming red. Flaming red. And mm -hmm. I'm always curious, why why change? Because uh, people don't like being redheads. Well, why did you change? Why did you change yours? I didn't change mine. Yours used to be really red Conan. It's... <laughs> Come on. It's Conan. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, the, uh, no, I've never put any kind of coloring or anything in my hair. My hair in the summer sometimes gets lighter, but I've never put anything in it. It's just, that's the way it is. And it's not really as red as people think it is. Mine was red. It was th it, I think we're having red hair. It's, it's this whole energy thing. There's, it seems like um, redheads are kind of crazy. It made me feel kind of crazy. Yeah! I couldn't stand it. Really? So you, you look at someone like me as an insane person because of my no. red hair. Yeah, Tracy, redheads aren't crazy. Kind of. Redheads, they're red not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> No, but uh, you, so you didn't like it. You felt that it made you look kind of nuts. No, I really liked it. I, I liked it. It was perfect for the movie. I, in the film Blade, um, which opens on Friday, I play kind of like a techno um, club girl vampire. I take guys that out. That same and, old role yep, they're always shoving you know, down our throats. It just goes right there. And um, so I, I meet guys and I, I take them and have a good time. We, we go out and we go dancing and do this and that. And basically, they're dinner. So um, that's what happens in the film. Why do you require that your victims go dancing first? That oh, I don't know. Out. She's got this thing about going to this nightclub. Mm -hmm. So she usually lures them in and takes them there. The, the film is from a comic book in the 70s called Blade, and Wesley Snipes plays the uh, vampire slayer, if you will, and Chris right. Christopherson is in it. Did you get the cool, the cool. Uh, you get the cool uh, vampire did. fangs in this movie? I did. It was is that really... fun to have? Um, yeah, but I felt like... I sounded like um, Count Chocula with them in my mouth. Count I had this, Chocula. Yeah, I had this terrible. That's something I'm very. I'm, yeah, I insist mouth. that people uh, people pronounce characters from cereal boxes Count correctly. Count Chocula. I was Count Chocula. Count That's Chocula. how I sounded. So I had to go in and loop all of my lines because I was talking like like this the whole time. You know what's weird is that, and can I just go back to Count Chocula for a second? Okay. <laughs> this always bothered me, but he's this friendly character who's on the box, you know, getting kids to eat chocolate cereal, and he drinks the blood of the living. <laughs> Isn't that weird to anybody? It I happens. Always, I used to just think, like, you know, what do kids think about that? Andy? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, uh, <laughs> I think that he was a special kind of vampire that was addicted to chocolatey marshmallow goodness. There you have it. <laughs> the best kind of vampire. Yeah. Now, uh, speaking of uh, music, uh, you, in music, you had a, uh, a hit song, a hit techno, yeah. was it techno sort of uh, pop song? Um, well, I released my first record about three years ago. It was called Thousand Fires on Radioactive. I'm working on my second album right now. And um, it's still in the same genre of dance, although I think it's, uh, I, don't, I don't think you would call it techno now. It, it has definitely that influence, but it's more along the lines of, like, Tricky or Portishead, and I'm really excited about it, I think. And this is, this, this is the kind of music that you hear at a rave club, is that right? Um, yeah, you, you definitely could. Do you go raving? I haven't been raving in many, many years. You know, I, I, would, I would admit, and now I'm going to sound like a square, and this will shock a lot of people, but I've never been to a rave club. Never. <laughs> um, really? But I know a lot about Count Chocula. <laughs> I'm shocked. Uh, I've never been to a rave club. I've heard stories that the idea is to dance for a really long time. Yeah, for like days. People dance for days. Who can I don't do know. that for days? That's... I can't. I don't know. So it's not a precision it dance. Like it's like a flailing. And you flail about a bit. Um, the idea is to get lost in the music, and I know there are a lot of kids and people that really get off on it, but... Right. And what, I'm and too old. You're too old to go yeah, raving? I'm too Seriously? old to dance for days now. It just doesn't work. 
And what, what's, I mean, they must be sweaty and disgusting after like four hours. Pretty much. Sounds fun. Let's go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I wanted to ask you about this. I've actually, I found this fascinating because you named yourself after one of my all time heroes, Jack Lord from Hawaii Five O. Is that true? I'm guilty. guilty Is that true? Sure. Did you really do that? Yeah, I mean, I was a huge fan of Hawaii Five-0 when I was a little girl and of Jack Lord. I thought that he had the coolest hair. Bingo. The Thank hair. you. Right. Bingo. When I, was a, when I was a kid, a lot of people always asked me, you know, why do you... Do, is, I used to do it a lot more in the early days of the show until we got letters saying, you're destroying, you our, you're, you're destroying our TV set. But I used to comb my hair up all the time that I worked on The Simpsons. I had, like, a giant, huge pompadour. And it was really? because of Jack Lord. I'm not kidding. I used to watch his show even as a kid and think, he is my hair hero. He's got the coolest pompadour I've ever seen. Because it never moved. It never moved. Never How moved. did it not move? Do you know? I don't know. I ran into a makeup artist once, a hairdresser actually, and he said that they used to put glue in his hair. I don't know if that's true or not. They put just glue? Glue. In? That yes. would explain why there were always a lot of bugs and stuff. <laughs> yeah. A paperweight. <laughs> Random things he encountered during his crime hunt. Maybe if you try glue, yeah. your hair will be higher. And you'd like that, it's, wouldn't you? It's a, actually a little flat, don't you think? Yeah, it's yeah. all done with pneumatics Conan? now. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, we'll take care of my hair. I'm so happy. I had an interview with you where we talked about Count Chocula and Jack Lord from Hawaii Five-O. I know. It's uh, definitely history here. And the term chocolatey goodness was used, so no one was hurt in this interview. Uh, Blade, I must mention, opens next Friday, August 28th, so go check uh, that out. And uh, Tracy, thank you very much thank for coming by. Thank you very by. much. Tracy Lords, everybody. We'll take a break and we'll come back. Emmy Lou Harris is going to be here.